Welcome to Sunday Serenity with Hess, a grateful, sober wellness seeker exploring teachings of old school and modern day experts on wellness and overall health. Each week, one topic, one practice, and one meditation to use during the week to stay on track with your goals. And now, here's Hess. Thank you, Jamie. This week, our topic is inspiration. So we've gone over mindset, we've gone over gratitude, and we've gone over I'll be happy when. So now we have those things in place. How do we get inspiration for these new goals that we have now that we have this great baseline to start with? Inspiration. What, who, how. There's a lot of places to look. And sometimes we don't see it when it's right in front of us. The first place I always look is inside myself. So I sit in meditation a couple times a day if I need to. I sit in the quiet and I explore my values and my experiences from the past, which are good and some are not so good. So I try to take those and apply the inspiration to the good ones and how I got there and how things played out to today's goals of right now. The second way is challenges. For me, I challenge myself physically. I challenge myself mentally. I challenge myself to meditate every day. It's a challenge. It's a practice. And I need to work on it every day or it doesn't really work for me. Another good way to find inspiration is nature. If you're into culture or nature or art, there's so much out there. No matter where you live, you can find inspiration. Lastly, I think surrounding yourself with inspiring people. Good people, good-hearted people, like-minded people, people in your circle could maybe be a great inspiration for you. I try to keep really awesome people in my circle. Some are way past where I want to be, and that's inspiring. Some are right there with me. That's also inspiring to me because I see that greatness in them, and if they're in my circle, then I've given myself this verification that I'm headed in the right direction. And so being open to experience, to inspiring people, to nature, art, experiences, reflection, you have to be open to receive from those places, receive inspiration. And so let's get into a little meditation today and think about our goals and how we can get emotionally attached to those goals. That's when they work the best. You have a goal, you set it in your mind, you take that picture and you become emotionally attached to it. Not in like an obsessive way, but in a way that brings you joy in reaching this goal. But the joy is now because you know you're gonna reach the goal, right? That's the best way to feel out these goals. Experience the joy now. Experience the accomplishment now on a goal you've set for yourself slightly ahead of where you are. All right, so let's begin. Let's sit up straight. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in all the way in and then let it out. Now let's take in that next breath deep and rich. Fill your entire body with it till you can't get any more air in and then hold it. Keep those eyes closed and start to focus on the goals that you have. Start to feel how good that is and then let the breath out. Take another deep breath, bring it all the way in again, 
and hold it. Hold on to it like you would hug a loved one. Hold on to that picture in your mind like it's your best friend who you haven't seen in months. You give them a huge hug and then let the breath out. As we sit here, let's think about your experiences, a reflection of all the experiences. Now let's filter out the ones that made you feel so, so good. I know that was hard for me at first. Feel that inspiration from those wonderful experiences and achievements that you yourself created. Think about the triumphs in your life. Think about the people around you, the love, the vibes. Start to feel that love and joy in your heart and hold the picture of your goals also in your heart. has so much to offer us if we're open to hearing about it. Your higher power is always talking to you as mine is talking to me. Listen. Meditation is where we get to listen. is where we understand the world around us where we can engage in the surroundings when we're able to listen start to feel that inspiration building one on top of the other, the next one, and the next experience, the beauty of your relationships, the beauty of everything around you. Connect that inspiration, that emotion, and that goal. And as you start to put those things together, take another deep, deep breath. Pull in all that joy and goodness. Fill up your body, fill your heart. And as you exhale, start to open your eyes. give yourself a hand on accomplishing that goal. I hope you've enjoyed another episode of Sunday Serenity. You can find me, I am Hess, on all the platforms. Thanks again. Please don't forget to like, save, subscribe. Those things are very helpful. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday.